All right, so this example is a little bit less straightforward than the last one, um, but we'll talk through it. We have find the measure of angle one if A is parallel to B. So let's go ahead and mark our parallel lines. Now, what you can do with this, this looks a little bit suspect right here. You know, what's going on with this? You can go ahead and add in a third line that goes right through the vertex of that angle and make it parallel to the other two. So basically we've got this third line. What it's doing is it's, it's cutting our, it's splitting up our angle one right here. Um, it's not cutting it in half, so these two are not necessarily the same angle. It's just going through the vertex and now we have ways to find this angle above the line and this angle below the line, which will give us angle one. All right, so first let's take a look at this 50 degrees. Now if we see this as our transversal right here, then the angle right here is going to be an alternate interior angle with the 50 degrees. So remember, alternate interior angles are congruent. So if this is 50 degrees, that means that that's going to be 50 degrees in there. All right, I wrote it in kind of small. So we know that. The only other thing we need to know is this angle above it. Now, let's ignore this bottom information. And what if we see this line as a transversal also between this parallel line and this parallel line. Well, we're trying to find or figure out what this angle is right in here. And if you notice, it's on the same side as the 100 degrees, same side of the transversal, in between our parallel lines, and they're on the interior. So same side interior gives us supplementary angles. Supplementary adds up to 180. Oops, let me write same side interior. If this is 100 degrees and these two angles add up to 180, what should this be? Hopefully you guys are coming up with 80 degrees. So what we have is the measure of angle 1 is going to be equal to that 80 degrees that we just got from our side side or same side interior plus that alternate interior angle of 50 degrees. So the measure of angle 1 is equal to 130 degrees. All right, so I will say that that was just one approach for this problem. I wanted to show you guys what it looked like, how you can add in a third parallel line that are parallel to the other two. Um, and there, there's multiple ways you could have gotten this 130 degrees. So just so you know, there's more than one right way to do this one.